houses of peace, finding a God-prepared people. Our task is not to make the fruit, but to merely find the fruit where the Spirit has already opened a heart to understand the truth of the gospel. Anyone can do this. The pattern. Jesus sent his disciples to different neighborhoods to look for someone interested in knowing the truth who had not committed to believing the lie, as in 2 Thessalonians 2, 10 through 11. We're looking for someone like Lydia, whom, quote, the Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what was said by Paul, Acts 16, 14. We just have to find them, not make them. They, in turn, will tell others in their relationship network or oikos. For example, Jesus found the woman at the well, and she told her whole village of Sychar in John 4, 1 through 32. Jesus prayed for Peter's mother-in-law, who was sick in Matthew 8, 14 to 15, and all of Capernaum heard the news. Jesus found Levi at his office in Luke 5, 27 to 32, who became a disciple and told his friends. Jesus found Zacchaeus in Luke 19, 5 through 10, changed his life in Jericho, and he told all of his friends. Jesus healed the demoniac in Luke 8, 26 to 39, and impacted a whole region southeast of Galilee among the Gentiles. Later in Acts, Paul's ministry followed the same pattern of searching for open minds and hearts. Paul found many open to the gospel in Lystra, including Timothy and his mother in Acts 14, 21, and 16, 1 through 3. Paul found Lydia, who had an open heart in Acts 16, 14, and an open house in 1615 in Philippi. Paul encountered the Philippian jailer in Acts 16, 25 to 34 and won his whole household in Philippi. Paul found Jason and stayed at his house in Acts 17, 1 through 9 in Thessalonica. Paul found Priscilla and Aquila in Acts 18, 1 through 4 in Corinth and stayed with them and they became church planners with Paul in Ephesus. Paul found Titius, Justus, who helped find Crispus, who both won their households and others in Acts 18, 7 to 8 in Corinth. There will always be someone that God has prepared. It's also noted that the gospel is always related to homes in order to win their whole households quickly. The instructions that Jesus gave to his disciples were very specific on how to find that person of peace or someone open to understand the gospel without resistance or antagonism. He told them what to do and what not to do in Luke 10, 1 through 11, and Matthew 10, 5 through 14. In a moment, I want you to hit the pause button uh, on the video, and some of you take the Luke passage, and others take the Matthew passage to write down each instructions that Jesus gave. See if you can find them all. What to do. Here's the list that I found from Luke. They were to go two by two. They were to go to every city and town. It was going to be risky. There would be among wolves. And they were not to be concerned about provisions or supplies. They were not to carry extra supplies. They were to speak a blessing on any house that welcomed them. They were to look for the Son of Peace, verse 6. They were to remain in that house, whatever house welcomed them. They were to eat or drink anything that they were given, and not to deny it. They were not to go house to house once they found one that was open. They were to heal the sick by prayer. They were to tell them of the kingdom of God that was coming. In Matthew's Gospel, some of the things that were a little bit different, they were told to go to the lost target group of Israel and not go to other groups that were not their objective. They were to heal the sick, raise the dead, and cast out demons. Pretty specific. They were to look for someone who was worthy, and that is someone who was valuable or worth spending time with because of their response to the initial message. They were to give a special greeting or welcome and declare peace to that house. Likewise, they were warned, you'll be persecuted, but do not be concerned and then flee to the next city if you're hated and won. Some of the things they're told not to do, they were told not to go to the Gentiles or the Samaritans. That is, they were to stay targeted. They were not to carry extra money with them, nor extra clothes. However long they were going to be gone, they were forced to trust God to meet their needs. They were not to stay if they did not receive their words. They were not to greet people along the way. 
and they were not to stay if they were rejected. That is, they were not to waste time trying to persuade or befriend closed hearts. Why did Jesus teach these principles? And how does this fit into our cultural context? Well, I think, first of all, and this is field one, objective is to find the person or the house of peace. They're to receive you or welcome you. You'll probably find one out of 20 or maybe out of one out of 100, depending on the culture, that there will be somebody if we go. Another sign is that they would serve you or do you a favor. And don't be afraid to ask for help. They listen to you. They're curious. They're open to the truth. Maybe even ask questions. They are known in the community, maybe famous or maybe infamous, but they could become the gatekeeper to a whole community. They embrace Jesus and his kingdom. That is, they accept him when they hear his story and his offer. They begin to obey Jesus right away. They introduce you to their oikos, and they tell others about Jesus. How to find this person of peace? Well, here's some suggestions. Walking through a neighborhood and praying for the residents and God's leading into a person he has prepared, it might look like this. Phase one, at their door, say something like, we're practicing acts of kindness in the neighborhood, and here are some cookies or whatever you might want to give them. We're also praying for people. If God were to do a miracle in your life, what would it look like? Then pray for whatever they request. If you sense an interest, maybe briefly share your testimony. But then record their name and address and prayer request and tell them you're going to pray for them daily. Keep it low-key and then leave. Phase two, maybe 10 or 14 days later. Give God time to make a difference. You might say something like, Hi, and then use their name that you recorded. We've been praying for you daily. How's it going regarding whatever their prayer request was? Then share your testimony, or the person with you share their testimony, and ask if you could show them the best news that man has ever heard, and share God's story. If they accept Christ as Savior and Lord, immediately teach them to share their testimony with someone close by. Tell them you can come back and share another story with them and their friends. If they're interested, set a time and a date to come back. Now you have a house of peace. The third phase which should begin quickly after phase two, cast the vision and help them tell their story to their family and friends and co-workers and have them teach the stories of hope or the commands to their oikos. Take them out and model finding another person of peace. A new network begins to penetrate the darkness.